Yeah. Yeah, here we go. What do we have here? We have two runs, 75 foot each, four gauge copper wire, copper solder wire. There we go. Let's get a little zoom in on that pretty copper. Yeah. Yeah, this is four gauge. This this works with the uh, this will work with the uh, Morningstar MPPT 60, the 60 amp uh, MPPT charge controller. It, this is what it calls for in the book. It calls for four gauge copper or two gauge uh, aluminum. And to hell with that aluminum. I'm not dealing with that aluminum. I mean, this stuff right here is a lot more expensive than aluminum, but uh, uh, copper so much better. It, it just it, it is able to handle the current and everything without heating up, and this is the good stuff. This right here is the good stuff. You see, I'll flip this over right here, and we'll have a look at the, at the numbers on this. This is T90. So I'm what I'm gathering from this this is the 90 degree Celsius wire and it's good for 600 volts and uh, this is the good stuff so all we need to do now is just bury this from the solar panels into the house into the into the charge controller we'll put it in uh, put it in conduit and bury the conduit and uh, but first we've got to do a little a uh, little uh, prep work and everything we're gonna have to make a few phone calls make a, a phone call to uh, a, a group here we have we have a free service that uh, uh, it's called 811 and you call them before you dig so we need to we need to call these guys and get them to come out and and uh, do their thing put their flags out and everything over the property and and that way we'll know where we're at and what we're crossing and how deep it is and all that good stuff so yeah we got the, we got the wire so we'll have it out at least we got 75 foot I figured probably 60 foot is gonna be would be what we need but I figured in a little bit extra for for uh, uh, you know for distance from ground level up because we're going to run it up the wall we're going to run it up to the uh, charge controller where the charge controller is going to be mounted so uh, i'm going to try and put that uh, uh, maybe eye level or a little bit below eye level um, so we're going to have to have you know we had to have a little bit extra on each end so and uh i got a i got a heck of a deal on this i mean you would not believe I got a heck of a deal. I went and priced this stuff at like the Home Depot and Lowe's, and it was 90 cents a foot. It was a dollar and 50 cents for the two gauge. And, uh, uh, but anyhow, I went and priced this stuff, and it was like 90 cents a foot. Well, I got this. I went to a different uh, place, like a wholesaler that deals with uh, commercial. Uh, with people like electricians and you know air conditioning and so on and so forth that kind of tradesman uh, and I got this for 67 cents a foot so I was like wow yeah yeah I like it so it was it came to hundred and eight dollars tax and all so for uh, for two runs of 75 foot 150 foot total for uh, 108 dollars so you know, tax and everything wasn't too bad. You know, that's about what I was I was thinking it was going to be. So, yeah, it's going to work out. It'll definitely handle the current. This will handle. This will handle with the wire we've got here. Should handle or should handle close to a hundred amps. It should handle close to a hundred amps. I'm on with the with the Morningstar and the panels I have. To start, the most I'm going to be putting into it is probably around uh, 44 amps or so. 48 amps is what they want. You know, they call it a 60, 
they call it a 60, but a 60, an MPPT 60, that means 60 max. That doesn't mean 60 nominal, like 60 everyday, you know, amps. You know, they want you to run about 48 amps into it uh, nominal. So, you know, normal everyday, day-to-day -day use, you know, it would like it right around 48 amps or so. Uh, and 60 on a peak like if you're really putting out if if the all the planets are in alignment and everything's working right and it's putting out a lot of power then 60 is like the max but but you know the thing i like about that that charge controller is that it uh doesn't have a fan on it that you can just put it in open air and it'll sit there and run all day long it doesn't draw power from a fan kicking on so, yeah, I think it's going to work. So, yeah, that's what we've been doing. Uh, be more on the way. We're working on it. We're getting there. We're, we're, we're working on it. It's KD5 INM. Y'all have a good one.